We begin this video with a mystery. You're asked to investigate a neurological disease. Animals that contract the disease slowly degenerate. They portray erratic behaviors, including loss of coordination and an intense itch, and causing them to scrape off their coats. Researchers can find no bacterial or viral cause, yet injection of brain fluid from one animal into a healthy test animal will cause the disease. If you treat the fluid with nucleases, it is still infectious, but if you treat it with proteases, it loses its infectivity. Propose what agent this must be. This disease confused scientists for years. They had no idea what was going on, but they could not isolate using Koch's postulates, a microorganism or a virus that caused the illness. Only after a lot of work did they realize it was actually caused by an infectious protein called a prion. The proteins that cause prion disease have the name PRP, and PRP is made by a single gene in mammals. Its function is unknown, but it seems to be important for stem cell function. But infectious PRP folds differently. This barren version then causes problems. The disease progresses because abnormal PRP is able to convert normal PRP to the disease form by protein-protein interactions. In other words, abnormal PRP forces normal PRP to change shape. Abnormal PRP has a different shape, which makes it much more resistant to degradation by cellular proteases than is normal PRP. It is thought that the accumulation of abnormal PRP in the lysosomes of brain cells somehow kills them. And when these cells die, they cause the characteristic holes in the brain seen in this type of prion disease. The disease spreads because abnormal PRP moves from cell to cell using normal cell transport mechanisms. And over a period of time, it kills enough neural tissue that the animal dies. So why am I talking about prion diseases? Because one of them is very important to this area of the country and it's called chronic wasting disease. This is a disease of mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, and moose. It was first discovered in mule deer in 1978 and now it is found throughout North and South America and South Korea. And it's also found in the Southern Wisconsin deer population. The symptoms of this illness are weight loss, isolation from the herd, loss of coordination, hypersalivation, frequent urination, and excessive thirst. And this image shows an actual deer suffering from this illness because it's number one, drinking from an ornamental plant decoration very near a window, which is not something the deer would normally do, and it looks like it's away from its herd, so it's clearly suffering from this disease. The disease is transmitted by oral ingestion of prions. Uh, the prions will be released in excrement and also in dead carcasses that then rot and go into the soil. Insidiously, the PRP protein binds to soil can be infectious up to two years later. So other deer coming in the area and grazing will pick up this prion. There is no current treatment for the disease and current attempts to eradicate it involve getting rid of infected animals through hunting. So far, that hasn't been very effective. Hey, that's it for prion diseases.